And some events occurred this morning, right when I woke up this morning. The Holy Spirit led me to a place. I went to this place with all enthusiasm. And something happened when I was at this place. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, Trend, let everybody know that's watching this video today that they must not forget who brought you into the land of milk and honey. All right. That's the message I want to talk to you about today. Listen, God told me to let you know, do not forget that he is bringing you into the land of milk and honey. He basically saying when you get there, you better not ever dare to forget his name. Listen, it's your big brother, Trent. I got a message for you. I don't know who watching this video, but the spirit is about to talk to you and is about to tell you some things that are to come and what you are to do with those things to come and what's going to happen in this new land that you about to be brought into. All right. Some of y'all have already been seeing this new land that you've been brought into. Some of y'all have been experiencing Something is different. I don't know what it is, but something is happening. But guess what? God told me to let you know it's him. Okay. It is him who goes before you. So stay tuned to the end of this video. It's your big bro trend. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with a friend. Bless a friend. I'll see you at the end of this video. Listen. So like I said, I went to this secret place this morning. And the Holy Spirit talked to me and he said, did I not go before you? Did I not show you the way? <laughs> See, sometimes we can forget that God is in control. Sometimes, you know, we, we think we got the mind power. Sometimes we ask ourselves, do I look good today? I don't look good enough. I don't look good enough. I'm, I'm not enough today. You know, oh, did I say that right? Do, do I got enough money in my bank account to make this happen? I don't know if I can make this happen. See, sometimes we forget that there's a God that we serve that can do the unimaginable things. You know, he can do what we can't do. We worship the supernatural God. We worship the God that's the creator of the stars, the moon, the galaxy, Neptune, Jupiter, planets, black holes. We, we serve an awesome God who is able to do above and beyond what a man could even fathom to do. And sometimes we forget that. Sometimes we stay in our worldly nature and we try to think ourselves out of something that only God can get us out of. How can you serve God but still think like man? How? I thought you trusted in God. <laughs> well, if you trust in God, comment below and remember who you are and say, Trent, I trust in God. Comment below and say, I trust in you, Lord. I trust in you. Comment below and say, I trust in you, Jesus. You better comment below. Huh? Listen. So, listen. This is what God told me to tell you before I started recording this video. All right? God said, it's a lot of you that's watching this video that already have the strength. And there's a lot of you that he's going to give the strength to produce wealth, all right? God is going to anoint you with a double portion. And when he anoints you, he's going to give you the strength to be able to create wealth, all right? Now, God said, don't get it twisted because this wealth ain't for you. You're going to have to bless a lot of people with this wealth. You're going to have to circulate this wealth. It ain't just for you, but he just said he wants you to know you're going to be the one that's going to produce it. OK, you're going to have to produce this wealth for not only yourself, but you're going to have to produce this wealth for wherever he wants it to go. OK, now God said, I have trusted you. I have trusted you and I've watched you for a long time and you've done what you're supposed to be doing. You stayed on the right track. You've tried to keep yourself as disciplined as much as you can. You came inside the house when the street lights came on. You locked your door behind you and make sure nobody came in your house. 
<laughs> You've been trying your best to make sure you keep your temple in tip-top shape, tip-top fashion. Now, I know you've been slacking when it comes down to the gym, but God said, that's all right. I'm still about to give you the strength because you pray for it. You've been asking for it. And what I'm going to help you do is I'm going to help you produce wealth. All right. I'm going to help you produce wealth. Now, this is what the Lord said. Now, if you know in Deuteronomy, let me get my word right here because I don't remember the scripture by heart. But Deuteronomy chapter eight, verses 17, 17 through 20. This is what it says. This is what the Lord says after he gives you the wealth. OK, folks, one thing you got to remember. Don't be fooled. Every good thing comes from above. All right. Every good thing comes from God. Every good thing comes from God. Don't let people talk you out of your blessing and make you say, oh, you ain't that ain't good. You you got too much. Why you got all that money on you, boy? You ain't you ain't never. Go. You always wearing fancy clothes and stuff. They just mad because they ain't got no clothes because they won't give no credit to the Lord. But see, since the, you've been giving your credit to the Lord, you've been putting your heart and your trust in the Lord, the Lord said he about to give you great strength and you about to produce wealth. Can I get an amen? Somebody comment below and say amen. Listen, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verses 17 through 20. This is what it says from the message. It says, if you start thinking to yourself, I did all of this all by myself. I'm rich. It's all mine. God said, well, think again. Remember that God, your God, gave you the strength to produce all this wealth. So as to confirm the covenant that he promised to your ancestors. See, God promised this already to your, your ancestors. He already promised this to your mom and them, your, your great grandmom. Her, her great grandmama, her great grandma. See, they ain't never really get to achieve it. They didn't. They just only was able to do enough. They was only to able to push you up to the top. See, all these people in your lineage, all these ancestors that came before you in your family tree, your parents, them, they parents, they parents. They did all this for you. You the finished final version of what they've always wanted to be. That's why your parents them be mad at you. Because they wish that you was the one that is you they wish that they was the one that's promised what God is about to give you. Listen. He said, he said, so as to confirm the covenant that he promised to your ancestors as it is today. See, God is a Present God, he works right now. He said, as it is today, not, not yesterday, not tomorrow, right now in this video. He said, as it is today. Now, God's word is working right now. God said, as it is today. You got to understand how quick God think. He on his feet. He, he don't never waver. He don't never tarry. The word is right now. It's spoken to you right now. I'm reading it right now in your life right now. God said, as it is today. I'm telling you. Listen, if you forget, forget God, your God, and start taking up with other guys. Yeah, you know what that is, taking up with other guys. Yeah, you've been partaking in a little bit of that last year. Yeah, you was, yeah, you know it. You know you was going a little bit on the deep end and stuff like that. Yeah, you, you was feeling the devil. You was feeling the devil. The devil was just stroking your ego a little bit. Yeah, you was feeling, you was like, I like this a little bit. But you were like, no, 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 I'm sorry. Some of y'all almost, some of y'all almost been fish tackled. Some of y'all almost been ate up by fish. You would have been like Jonah in the body of a whale. Some of y'all almost gave into it. But see, you didn't as it is today. The Lord God is still your God. Listen, this is what God said. He said, if you start taking up with other gods, serving them and worshiping them, like a lot of people do today, he said, I'm on record right now as giving you firm warning. Now, one thing you got to understand about God, folks, God ain't always just nice. I don't know what, talk, what they talking about. The, the Lord, he loves us. He's a loving God. He, He's going to forgive me, 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 all times that God will do something wrong. The Lord is all love. God is love. He loves God. Huh? That ain't the God I'm serving. 
the God I'm serving, I'm scared of him. I'd be like, sorry, Lord. Sorry, God. I'm sorry. Did, did I do something wrong today, God? I, I, listen, God, you be, talking, you be talking to yourself when you get by yourself. I know I said the right thing, God. It was them. It don't be nobody around. You be talking to God like, God, now I, I got to go take a shower and wash my hands. I, God, I didn't do nothing wrong. I did raise my voice now. I was about to punch him. But, hey, God, did I do something wrong? God be like, no, no, no. But you but see, the reason why you be acting like that is because you already know God ain't no joke, bro. You already know God will punish you. God is a God of war. God is a God of vengeance. I'm telling you, God can call, God causes as much destruction as he do building things up. Let's go. He said, he said, it's fair warning. That will be the end of you. He said, I mean it. Destruction. You will go to your doom. The same as the nations God is destroying right before you because they would not obey the voice of God. Now, folks, that's enough word right there to just, I just want to stop reading it because I'm already scared. I don't want to mess up with the Lord giving me. I know, I remember where I come from. But one thing you got to understand is this. Look at the world around us, folks. Look at the world around us. It's, 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 going, it's going nuts, ain't it? It's going chaos. God is angry, folks. I don't know if you realize that. But if you if you serve the same God I got served, God is causing a lot of destruction, a lot of doom around us. It's a lot of people passing away, a lot of people going away, a lot of things happening, a lot of tornadoes, hurricanes, arctic storms, everything happening. Boy, God is, he ain't playing. You know why? Because his word is his word. His word is bond. I'm telling you, God is a God of vengeance. But if you always been on his good side, he will not let no harm come to you. If you always been on God's good side, comment below and say, I always been on God's good side. Because if you ain't been on God's good side and you're watching this video and you're doing some things behind closed doors and you know who you are and you're doing some things behind closed doors, God said it's going to be the end of you. It's going to be destruction. He's going to cause doom. Okay. You know why? Because you will not obey his voice. And I mean it. Just like God said, God said, I mean it. Okay, so don't forget who's on the throne. All right. When you see things happening out here in the world and society, don't be like, oh, yeah, the, 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 the government, yeah, yeah, they, they got power. No, they don't. God got all the power and the glory. It's God who in control. It's God who's in control. And like I said, folks, um. One thing you got to understand, as God brings you into this land of milk and honey. Now, the land of milk and honey is what you always wanted. You're going to start seeing it right before your eyes. You're going to start seeing your reality change. You're going to start seeing your friends list change. You're going to start seeing people attracted to you that you always wanted to be attracted to. You're going to be looking at your specific people. You're going to be out and stuff like that. They're going to be looking at you. You're going to be looking at them. They're going to be looking at you. You're going to be like, Wow. I don't even know what to do now. I don't even know what to say. You, you, boy, you look good, boy. You look good, boy. I don't even know what to say no more, girl. I don't even know what to say. You be scared. You gonna be scared. You gonna be scared because God is bringing. He gonna bring you to a, a foreign land, land you do not know of. You've never been there, okay? But see, one thing you gotta understand as God started to give you the strength to produce uh, wealth is. He gonna go before you. He gonna every and everything that you set out to do from this video, this day forward, as if today. All right, God is gonna go before you. The angels are gonna go before you and prepare a table before you. All right, I give you an example. This this young lady called me up uh, about two weeks ago. She said, "Big bro, I'm moving." I say, "You is sis?" She said, "Yeah, I'm moving." She said, "I don't know where to go." I say, well, just go out there and find something. So just, just put it in God's hands and just go out there and find something. She went out there. She was looking for somewhere to stay. Uh, lo and behold, she found a house or whatever. And she said, man, don't you know the house that I found? It's set like in the, it's set, it's set like on the street. It's set in the same spot on the street as my house on the same spot on the street in my old house. And she was like, 
Don't you know the mailbox number four, my my new house is like similar. It got the same exact numbers, same four numbers in it as the same four numbers as where I stay right now. I say, wow, that's crazy, sis. That's crazy. And she was like, you know what else is funny? I'm like, what else is funny? She was like, the neighbors that's, that's going to be standing beside me, they got the same car as the neighbors that stayed beside me when I was at the other place. Now, listen, this is not a coincidence, all right? These synchronicities that happen, folks, that's angels preparing your way. They already went before her and set it up for her. And look, she ended up getting that house because God had already shown her. He had already prepared it for her. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. This is what God's saying. Don't forget who bringing you to the land of milk and honey. Don't forget when you get to this wealth who did it for you. Don't forever, don't ever in your mind think it's all mine because God is the one that's going to go before you and God is the one that's going to give it to you. You know what I mean? So God is going to bring all the things to you that you always dreamed of because see, you can't do it by yourself. You can try to think your way to it, through it. You can try to make instruction manual. You can try to read instruction manual. You can try to plan your way through it. You can try hard as you can. Ain't nobody going to do it for you but God. If you want God to do it for you, comment below and say, God, please pave my way for me. Comment below and write it out. Speak to him and say, God, please pave my way for me. Listen, listen. God going to bring you around the right people with the right time. God, God said he about, to, he about to make you wealthy. God said he about to give you the strength to make you wealthy. He about to bring you into the land of milk and honey. God said, I'm about to bring you around the right business partners. God said, you need an investment. I already know. Don't worry about it. I'm about to bring investors around you. They're going to come from far and wide. They're going to see what you believe in. They're going to see your vision. They're going to say, I want to help. I want to help. I want to help. God is about to bring favor over you. You're going to go into certain places. They're going to be treating you better than the rich people that you be like dang they treating me so good you know what i mean they gonna give you they gonna ask you for your order you gonna order some food they gonna bring you some extra food you're gonna be like i can't even eat all this food god is about to give you favor god is about to give you great strength you know what god is about to put you under people's power and they gonna they gonna look at you strange because you from you from god's territory they're gonna look at you strange like how is it that you are better than us it's because the Lord is your God. And see, God know what people doing behind closed doors. And so God say, he about to go before you and set their way straight through you. So God about to show his glory through you. And he about to put people that's have power under your power. He about to put people that got money. He about to put their money in your pocket. God about to give you so much strength to create wealth. Your head going to spin. You going to feel better than everybody that you around. You going to feel cocky. You going to feel arrogant. Because the spirit of the Lord, the, the spirit is going to be on you so heavy. You're going to be able to just see through people like, like a transparency seat. Who are you? I know who you is. I know who you is. I see you. They see, they know that you see them. So this is what they're going to do. They're going to they gonna have to give you what they have. Because they know they're in the presence of the Lord. People going to have to give you what you desire. Because they know they're in the presence of the Lord. God said, anything that you want. Anything that you want, walk and go and get it. And the angels are going to prepare the way for you. When you get there, it's going to already be set up just like my girl house was set up for her already. God say, just go out and get it. If Once you pray for it, God say, just go and get it. Go and get it. The, the path is already open. You got the green light. Can I get an amen up in here, boy? I'm preaching today. God said, do not forget who brought you into the land of milk and honey, all right? So this message is just a reminder. This message ain't nothing but a reminder because it's going to happen. If it's not already happening right now, it's going to start happening because this is the year that you you reap all your, your seeds that you planted. Your harvest is sprouting up right now. Comment below and say, my harvest is sprouting up right now, Trent. I receive it, Trent. Just comment below if you receive your harvest right now. Huh? Oh, listen. Listen, see, on a regular basis, you know what people do on a regular basis? All through the day, people go through their life in their mind with a limited mindset thinking that they can only do what they can do based on how much money they have. Don't you feel like that sometimes? Sometimes don't you feel like, ah, 
Well, I can't take a trip there because I don't have enough money. Well, I can't go and have me a nice meal because I, I got to get some gas first and I got to, I don't have enough money, you know? Well, like, it, like the sometimes the devil will like to play tricks on you and make you think you can't do anything by faith because money. Don't he, he ain't been tricking you like that today. Has God been, has God been telling you, you can do it. You can do it. You should be excited right now. You should be joyful right now. You need to be joyful right now. You can do it because we serve an awesome God and God is going before us and he's just giving us things by faith. He's giving us supernatural blessings. See, we're not from this world. God giving us stuff that people have to go through, go years to get. He giving it us as of today. Huh? But see, like I said, sometimes the devil will try to play with you and think, make you think, oh, you can't do nothing today because you ain't got the right clothes. You can't do that. You you ain't you, you need to get some new stuff first. You need to have some designer before you can be able to attract that person in your life. But that's not true. That's not true. You see, that's why I always, that's why I always try to tell y'all, money is just energy. You can easily attract money because you can vortex it. And so many people have got my money vortex. It's ridiculous, man. I still got it below in the comment section. All right. If y'all want to learn how to vortex this money without having to let the devil uh, be in your thought life, making you think that you limited edition, like you can't have that. It's going to only be a certain time you can go and get that. No, you, you divine. You can have money by divine right. God already said it's yours. And like I said, if you know for a fact that you are the chosen one, then you will be given great strength after this video to produce wealth and see what God is doing right now in your life. He's bringing you into the land of milk and honey. Everything that you always wanted is about to start attracting to you. It's about to start coming to you by God's supernatural power. But already God said in Deuteronomy chapter eight, verse 17 through 20, do not forget your God. Who brought you into the land of milk and honey. Do not forget. See, God already told me this years ago. He told me this when I was in the bed, laying in the bed, broke, butt naked, didn't have no clothes to wear, reading his word. He told me this a long time ago. And he brought me into the land of milk and honey. But guess what? Did I forget? I don't think so. So then you got to do the same thing. All right. So also, folks, if you not if you have not gotten the lost information for the star season, the chosen one, volume one, volume two, you missing out because um, today is the last day. All right. I'm about to make that take that sale off. It's done went two days overboard. OK, I'm about to take that sale off right now after 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 tonight. So if you want to go ahead and get it, why it's super cheap right now, go ahead and get the lost information for the star season, the chosen ones while it lasts. Uh, other than that, it's going to go back to its regularly scheduled programming, regular price. OK, with that being said, folks, have a blessed day. Amen. It's your big bro trend. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.